Hey guys, that means get Guy Nice Nine here, and in the, this Road to Quest Cape episode, as per usual, I'll be showing you three quests that I've done in the week. But because of the recent Alcarid re rework update, they've released two quests beside it, and I don't really want my quest pattern getting messed up, so I thought I'd do the two extra quests. So that should be good. So starting off, I for the first quest I did Darkness of Hallowville. Hello Vale. I really, really despised this quest because 95% of it was running and 5% was the actual quest itself. And you spent most of the time in the city of Meadditch, and it was very, very hard to navigate around. And I got lost so easily. I had to teleport about five or six times because I got lost. I just, I'm, I'm glad it's over though. And it's really bad rewards for a quest like that. It's really bad. I really wouldn't recommend doing this quest unless you want to get the rewards from the branches of Dark Mayor. Other than that, I really re wouldn't recommend it. And now I'll move on to the next quest. And for the second quest, I did Morning Zen Part 2. I don't know why most people hate this quest. I mean, I know it can be quite painful because you have to do a lot of running. About 95% of it's running and 5 percent is the quest. It's, it can be very annoying and repetitive. Uh, I'd probably say this is one of one of the hardest quests that I've ever done. It was very, very annoying at times, especially with the shades, because they kept attacking you while you were trying to plant the crystals. A lot of running from the top to the bottom floor, a lot of get rotating mirrors. It was very, very annoying. But once you got it, once I got it done, it was very relieving, to say the least. It's just showing me finishing off the quest and. It was an okay quest overall. I mean, the next one in the series is within the light. I won't think. It, I wouldn't think it was that hard compared to this. I hope not, anyway, because I really despised running around. As you can see, here, the loads, the shades just keep attacking you, and it really put you off while you were trying to put out the pillars or the blimps. And. This quest took me around one hour, an hour and a half, just quite annoying. I don't think a quest has taken me that this long, so um, to this day, unless I don't know how long them as Requiem took me. But I'm just glad it's over, it, and I'm not really keen on the rewards either because, as you'll see here coming up, it was very, very poor for a long quest like that. Even even if you need to get agility up, that's quite poor. I don't know what the trinket does, which I got rid of. See, like 20k agility XP and access to the death altar. Now I'll move on to the next quest. Okay, and for the third for the third quest, I did rocking out. This quest was actually not that bad, if I'm honest. I mean, it didn't have any fighting. It was kind of like one small favor, except it was a lot better than that. All we had to do was do favours for about five pirates. It was fairly easy. It took me about half an hour to 45 minutes, but the, the time flew by because it was so easy. And this is just a cool cutscene showing with what happened between the pirates. And it had some decent rewards, which is good. It's just, uh, I think there's one more quest after this in the pirate series and one pirate quest in the future, which is. It should be good. Um, so I need to do the next quest after this to do pirates. Is uh, I can't remember. I know I know what it is, but I can't remember. Clockwork syringe. Yeah, that's it. So hopefully I, I should do that soon, and it should be good. And there's two more quests after this one, which is the brand new ones. And he's just he's like jumping off the, the air ledge and quite cool ships on fire and I think I just need to speak to this guy and then quest complete this this one was quite funny it's just a parody I think it's a parody of like no animals were harmed or something it's just like people spawned in Lumbridge. Quite random but you know the developers can think of anything. 
And now I will no, I wasn't. see like these rewards quite good rewards, 25k thieving, crafting, smithing, and now I have 70 thieving for the stairs back, which I want to do but hopefully won't rage at. And now I will move on to the fourth quest. For the fourth quest I did uh, stolen hearts or something. It was this quest was fairly short and easy. It took about ten minutes, if I'm honest. Not the best of rewards, but then again, it is for the low, it is aimed at the, the lower level players. But I wasn't sure whether to include this or not because I didn't get any quest points for it, and I think it was a replacement for Prince Ali Rescue. But I thought I'd just include it in anyway, just in case, and that was good. So, and I'm hoping to do more quests with Ozman, whatever. Ozan, that's it. In the Pie Maker's Curse, which I'll do eventually. And now I'll, I'll move on to the final quest. And for the fifth and final quest, finally, I did Diamond in the Rough. This quest was okay. Practically the same as Stolen Hearts. I liked the voice acting, that was good. Just died of spamming through it because gets kind of repetitive and quite boring. Yes, yeah, so I just sped up a bit because it's and the cutscene showing a bit repetitive. I don't really care whether this turns into a series because it's not really interesting. Unless because I heard them mention Menaphos a few times and we all know that Menaphos like it hasn't it's been sitting there for years and there's been no news or anything about it so I hope I hope if they do make a series they open up that city because that should be quite thing to look forward to. Thanks for watching my Road to Quest Cape. This has been episode 5. I will see you in episode 6. 30, um, 17 quests down if I'm not mistaken and 30 to go and just more good content etc and more episodes to come. See ya.